Well, Ferrari is always cognizant of the fact that the North American market was as important as the European market for one reason. It generated sales, and it's sales that he needed in order to go Formula One racing, which was his passion. Well, he had two great distributors in North America. He had Luigi Gennetti with the North American racing team, and he had John Van Neumann on the West Coast, who was also an avid racer. Well, these two guys had their pulse on what Americans wanted, and what they wanted was Ber Berlinetta performance, like the Tour de France, the 250 Tour de France, which was a great race car, but they wanted more style. They had a convertible, but they wanted a faster convertible, one that performed well. And what they came up with is this, the California Spider. 51 of these beautiful cars were ever built, and they were performance cars. It was evident in 1959, Ginther wins Sebring in his GT class, finishes ninth overall, only behind four Testarossas and four RSK Porsches. In Le Mans that year, Luigi Scinetti takes his NART team over there and comes in fifth overall. Quite a performance for a car that's supposed to be a touring car. Well, North America's well-heeled amateur racers also tore up the track. And I'll tell you one thing about these cars. There is no car in 1959 that sounded better than a 250 Ferrari. I'll prove it to you. Truly a spectacular car to drive. There is nothing like a 12-cylinder Ferrari. Now the quality of this restoration, this being the 23rd car of the 51 built, is impeccable. Somebody went to some extremes to make this thing perfect as far as body fit goes. Keep in mind, part of these panels are steel, some of them are aluminum. You have aluminum doors, hood, and trunk lid, with the rest of it being steel. Some of the competition cars were actually all aluminum. But if you look down the door gaps of these cars, it is flawless. And if you look at the shape of this car, it's a really tricky car to restore. It's got some very round shapes, but it's also got some very nice lines through the door that are sharp, sharp on this car. The wheels, the chrome, the stainless steel on this thing, somebody spent a lot of time again going through that. The Brani wire wheels, beautifully restored. All the chrome, 100% gone through. The dash, every piece redone. The gauges, if you have a look at them, they're all like brand new. The steering wheel, totally refinished. Somebody spent, again, a lot of hours doing the aluminum on the wheel and, and the wood itself, beautifully done. The interior, if you look at the stitching on it, all dead straight, all fit perfectly. The side scallops are a little unique to this car compared to most Cal Spiders. And under the hood, this car was factory equipped with a set of velocity stacks and a cold air box, which is something usually reserved for just the competition cars. The detail under the hood of this car is spectacular as well. Somebody has spent hours and hours researching and detailing this thing. It's done to perfection. Underneath the car, same way. Look at the suspension. It's all plated properly, painted correctly. And you know what's the best thing about this car? Somebody's debugged it. This car honestly drives as good as it looks. Because of all these things and a clean ownership since brand new, this car's got to be worth a million dollars and worth every penny.